This is crazy. It's like a golf cart. And we're in the back of it. And I'm hoping I don't die. Oh my Jesus. We could have walked to this place. We should have walked to this place. Oh my God. It's slightly raining. Hopefully it doesn't rain all day. Oh my god, he just jumped off. <laughs> okay, oh, it's raining hard. We're going on a safari, but first, we are going to town. traditional um, middle class Dominican lives, um, maybe like a two to three bedroom and about five people living in there. So we went inside their house, um, saw their kitchen, saw them preparing dinner or lunch or something like that. I think it was lunch, I don't know, whatever. So, and so their bathroom, the kitchen, the bedroom, things like that. Then we saw the plantation area. So it was behind the people's homes, so I'm guessing that was their property also. So the plantations, it consisted of fruits, vegetables, um, you know, everyday items that we would honestly get in the grocery store. And then we saw what they did, um, cocoa, like chocolate, and coffee. So Well, they, we had the ability to taste the cocoa and the, well, taste the chocolate as well as the coffee, I wasn't feeling too well. So this is what happened. I don't know if it's something that I ate or what. My stomach was hurting. And it might have been my motion sickness because like when I was younger, I used to have really bad motion sickness. So that might have kicked in. I don't know what, or I don't know if it was something that I ate because we weren't in like a high, um, like a big truck, not as big as the double deckers, like the makeup bus, but it was a pretty big truck. And you know, we were going kind of fast, it wasn't as fast, but it was kind of fast, and we were like shaking and moving. So, it might have been my motion sickness, it might have been something that I ate. I'm not 100% sure, just because I was scared today, 
and I only ate like bread. Like I was super scared. We, we went to the Dominican home, then we went to the Dominican school. So the school that they showed us, it was basically um, a school, they said, I don't know if this is for every school, but they said there were two shifts. So one from like 8 to 12, and then an afternoon shift until 4 p.m. So the school that they sent us to, it was um, from kindergarten through eighth grade. And um, they said all the, all the kids that's in that village, um, or in that area rather, they went to that school up until eighth grade. So sometimes we have two classes, two or three classes, or two or three age groups in one class. Like one of the classes that we went to, it was seventh and eighth grade in there. So they pretty much split the bulletin board. I mean, split the chalkboard to teach both lessons. Because they let the tourists um, go in the school. They, some of the money that we paid for, like hats, if we purchased them, hats and t-shirts and things like that, they went back to the school. So they were able to build a playground for the school. Um, they were able to build a nicer bathroom. It was raining so much, so they didn't want us to take the river, us to the river. But they said that the river was clean, so we went to the river. I did not go in the river. I won because I didn't know how deep it was. And I can swim, but I limit myself to an extent. And um, so I just didn't want to take that chance. Then after the river, we went to we went to lunch. So they had us go to like this restaurant that, again, most likely is sponsored by the tour. And um, we had fried chicken and rice and pinto beans, um, what they call it, bean sauce. Um, so because like I was still scared to eat, <laughs> I didn't have that much, but it was pretty good. Um, honestly, it really tasted just like the food that I have down the block from my house. Like they have a Dominican restaurant by my house and the food tasted the same. So it was good. It reminded me of home, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> so. After lunch, like they showed us where to purchase some more things, like the coffee, the hot chocolate, um, like little bracelets, necklaces, um, paintings, um, Mama Juana, uh, which is like, uh, they call it like the male Viagra, like male Viagra, like so it's equivalent to like your Baba Roots, your Magnums, what some people use, Guinness Stout for, things like that, um, just increasing your stamina. Then they had, um, they were selling pineapple rum, I mean, not pineapple rum, pineapple liqueur, um, pineapple wine, chocolate liqueur, and things like that. Then we went from lunch to the beach. So even though I did not have a towel, I was not going to be in DR and not go to the beach. We went on the boogie board, and that was fun, and then after that, we just went back. Um, in between, it was maybe about a half hour ride going back from the beach. They were telling us about the country, a little bit more about the country as we went along. And we went back to the hotel. We had dinner at, what did we have dinner? We had dinner at this Asian restaurant. I ended up just getting like general so chicken and some spring rolls. I got so a shot glass for Gucci and mayonnaise. Like other stuff. Stuff from Matthew. And Jackie and Jessica. It's like a nice little gift shop. And I'm done with my shopping. So, bye. We're on our way back. We're on our way back. I went to this um, place after dinner to get some souvenirs for some friends. And my family. What's so funny? Coffee. Keep laughing. 
We're gonna have early tomorrow morning to do the city tour. And then, I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow night. I think they're gonna have some show by, I can't remember, by Tropical or by the V, no, they're gonna have a show by the VIP sports bar. So we're gonna try to make it to see that. This, this tour is only a half day. Today, it was a full day tour. So, I was tired by like lunch. But I'm gonna go to my bed. Wake up in the morning. Go to bed. Wake up in the morning. And we shall continue to Puerto Plata. Day three tomorrow.